This is CD2, track 10, to be used with page 27 of the student book for units 3 and 4. If you have a pencil and your book is open to page 27, you are ready to begin. Now that the hunt has ended, Cass is going to give the Super Kids medals as prizes for finding the things on the hunt list. Listen to the name of each thing found in the hunt. I will repeat some words. You are going to write the lowercase letter for the sound heard at the beginning of the words. When you hear this sound, your teacher will pause the CD so you have time to write your answer. Then your teacher will turn the CD back on. Now, look at the picture of the medal with the red ribbon. Okay, is everybody ready? I'm going to present some medals that I made to the winners of the hunt. The first medal goes to Doc and Alf. We had to get a lemon. Doc had the good idea for asking Dan, the man who owns a fruit stand, if we could use a lemon. And we were lucky because a lemon had fallen off his fruit stand. Since it was soft and a little dusty, Dan couldn't sell it, so he gave it to us. That's how we got our lemon for the treasure hunt. Doc and Alf, here's your medal with a bright red ribbon. You deserve a medal for getting that luscious, lovely, lemony lemon. Thanks. Doc and Alf won a medal for getting a luscious, lovely, lemony lemon. Luscious, lovely, lemony, lemon. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words luscious, lovely, lemony, lemon? Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the metal with the red ribbon. Now look at the metal with the blue ribbon. The next metal is for Oswald and Lily. They had to find a red mitten, and they did. We had a pretty hard time finding a red mitten. Yeah, I found a baseball mitt and a glove, but I couldn't find a red mitten. So I borrowed this red mitten from Lulu, the lion doll. It's usually on her bed in the lion's house, but we figured she would lend it to us for the hunt. We'll have to return the mitten to Lulu, but at least we have it for the hunt. It was smart to borrow that most marvelous mitten for the hunt. Lily and Oswald, here is your medal. <laughs> Lily and Oswald won a medal for getting the most marvelous mitten. Most marvelous mitten. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words most marvelous mitten? Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the metal with the blue ribbon. Now look at the metal with the green ribbon. The metal with the green ribbon is for Sal and Golly. They were supposed to get a hot dog and a bun, and they sure got an unusual hot dog. I guess it is a bit odd. See, I got this regular old bun at Bell's Bakery, but I couldn't get a hot dog there. I didn't know what to do. Then Golly started running around with his tongue hanging out and his ears flopping. <laughs> At first, I thought he was just acting crazy and frisky, but then I saw what his idea was. Golly was running around to make himself hot so that he could be the hot dog. So I brought Golly as my hot dog for the hunt. Sal, I think Golly is the smartest hot dog I ever saw. Here is your medal, Golly. You're a happy, hopping, hurried hot dog. Sal and Golly won a medal for getting a hot dog and bun. Golly was a happy, hopping, hurried hot dog. Happy, hopping, hurried, hot. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words happy, hopping, hurried, hot? 
Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the metal with the green ribbon. Now look at the metal with the orange ribbon. The metal with the orange ribbon is for Tick Tack and Hot Rod. They brought lots of funny buttons. I was just about to cut some buttons off a dress. But I stopped her because it's bad to cut buttons off the dress. That'll wreck the dress. Then Hot Rod showed us the buttons he collects. He's got big buttons, odd buttons, and fun buttons. Some of them have funny sayings on them like, Hot Rods are fun, and some have racing flags on them. They're neat. I knew my buttons would be best for the hunt. They are, Hot Rod, Tick, and Tack. Here's your medal for those big, bright, beautiful buttons. Tick, Tack, and Hot Rod won a medal for getting big, bright, beautiful buttons. Big, bright, beautiful buttons. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words big, bright, beautiful, buttons? Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the metal with the orange ribbon. Now look at the metal with the purple ribbon. The metal with the purple ribbon is for Icky and Talk. They had to get a comic. We thought we'd have to go to the store and buy a comic, but Talk didn't have any money, and neither did I. We had to hunt and hunt, but finally we found this old comic on top of a big can full of papers. Of course, the cover of the comic is ripped, and a couple of the pages are missing, but it is still a comic. It is kind of a crazy cuckoo comic, but it's perfectly okay for the hunt. Icky and Talk, here is your medal. Icky and Tak won a medal for the Crazy Cuckoo Comic. Crazy Cuckoo Comic. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words Crazy Cuckoo Comic? Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the medal with the purple ribbon. Now look at the medal with the yellow ribbon. And last of all, the medal with the yellow ribbon goes to Etta, Betta, and Fritz. They were supposed to get gobs of mud, and they got the funniest glob of mud ever. <laughs> Fritz knew where to go to get the gobs of mud right away. We went to the pond in the park where Fritz likes to go fishing. On the edge of the pond, there is lots of slippery, gucky mud. We had the mud. But we didn't have anything to put it in to bring it back for the hunt. So I asked Edibetta to get a big can that we could fill with mud. I got so excited, I started running and then splat! I fell down in the mud. I had mud all over me, on my clothes and arms and legs and hands. I was just covered with mud. <laughs> Edibetta looked pretty funny, but she wasn't mad at all. She just grinned and said, I'm the big glob of mud. So we just brought the mud for the hunt on me. <laughs> Etta, Betta, and Fritz, here is your medal for the messy, mushy, mucky mud. Etta, Betta, and Fritz won a medal for the messy, mushy, mucky mud. Messy, mushy, mucky mud. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the words messy, mushy, mucky, mud? Write the lowercase letter for that sound on the lines on the metal with the yellow ribbon. Now, let's check your answers. Look at the picture of the metal with the red ribbon. You should have written L which stands for L on the lines. Look at the picture of the metal with the blue ribbon. You should have written M, which stands for M on the lines. 
Look at the picture of the medal with the green ribbon. You should have written H, which stands for on the lines. Look at the picture of the medal with the orange ribbon. You should have written B, which stands for B on the lines. Look at the picture of the medal with the purple ribbon. You should have written C, which stands for K on the lines. Look at the picture of the medal with the yellow ribbon. You should have written M, which stands for M on the lines. Thank <laughs> you.